This question was asked in gate 2005. Now in this question what they are saying is the following C functions take a single linked list of integer as a parameter and rearrange the elements of the link. Okay, that means it is taking a link single linked list as an input thing. Okay, and then it is doing the list is represented as pointer to a structure, right? And the function is called with the list containing the integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 in the given order. Then what will be the content of the list after the function is completely executed? So what they are saying is we are having this linked list, okay? And this is the value part because as in this structure they are saying int value and next and this is the next part and in this linked list we are having the data which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to 7 3 4 5 6 let us suppose this is 7 okay and all these nodes are having a value part and a next part a value part and the next part okay so let us suppose the address of this node is 1000 its address is 2000 its address is 3000 address is 4000 5000 6000 and 7000 okay and this head or this star list is initially pointing to this front node which is 1000 now let us try to uh, execute this function on, on this linked list so in this function so in the line number one, they are saying they are uh, initializing two more pointers and the pointers are the pointer P and the pointer Q. In the line number two, they are taking a temporary variable. So let us suppose this is the temporary variable. Okay. This is not a pointer, it is an integer number. It is going to store an integer number and they are saying if not of list or not of list arrow next, right? That means if this not of list so when this not of list is going to return me one so when this list is going to store null in that case this not of list is going to return me one right because if you see if list is storing zero and if you do not of zero that means not of false then it is going to return us true so this will be true if the list is null okay or this will be true when the next part this front node or the next part this part is null in that case this is going to return us true and then we are going to return right but none of these conditions are true because this list is not storing null and this part is also not null okay therefore we'll execute the line number three right in the line number three it is doing p is equal to list right that means this p is now going to store whatever the data which is stored in list so p will be storing 1000 okay and then in the line number four it is saying q is equal to list of next that means this whatever the data which is stored here in the next part it will now be stored in the queue so q will now be storing the address of the next node which is 2000 okay and then we are having this while loop so in the while loop it is saying while q while q means while q does not become uh, null so we are doing we are executing this line number five right so here it is line number five it is saying temp is equal to p of value that means whatever the node which is pointed by p we are going to access this value part and that value will be stored in temp so in this temp we are going to store one initially and then the line number six p of value is equal to q of value that means whatever the value which is stored which is pointed by p will now be storing whatever the value which is stored, uh, pointed by q right so it is now will be storing it will now be storing 2 right because this q of value is storing 2 okay and then what we are going to do is in the line number 7 q of value is equal to temp right that means this value part is now going to be storing 1 because temp is storing 1 and the line number 8 we are doing p is equal to q of next right that means this p will now be storing whatever uh, this next part is storing in the queue so this next part is storing 3000 therefore p will now be storing 3000 that means p is pointing to this node now and then we are doing q is equal to p question mark p of next ratio 0 
right so what does it mean it is a if else condition so if this is true then we are going to execute this otherwise we are going to execute this okay and p is storing 3000 and 3000 is not null that means this is true therefore we are going to execute p of next therefore q will now be storing whatever the data uh, in this next part uh, in stored in the next part of p so this next part of p is storing 4000 therefore p will now be storing 4000 okay and then again we are going to check this while loop now in this while loop sorry this 4000 will be stored in q not in p okay because this uh, sorry this arrows should be in, in this direction okay and then again the while loop we are doing while q and q is storing 4000 in that case temp is equal to p of value okay again we are going to execute this line numbers 5 6 7 8 and 9 and then again temp is equal to p of value that means whatever the value which is pointed by p temp is now going to store that and p is storing 3 therefore temp is now be storing 3 in the line number 6 we are doing p of value is equal to q of value that means whatever the value which is pointed by q will now be stored in p and q is pointing to this 4000 node therefore p will now be storing 4 here right and then what we are going to do is q value is equal to temp that means whatever the value is here it will be stored by storing 3000 and then we are doing p is equal to q of next that means p will now be pointing to the location which is stored here and that location is 5000 therefore p will now be pointing to the location 5000 correct and then q is equal to p question mark p arrow next ratio is 0 that means again we are going to see if p is null or not so p is storing 5000 and 5000 is not null therefore p will now be pointing to this p of q will now be pointing to this p of next therefore p is pointing to the location 5000 and q will point to the next location which is 6000 therefore q will now be storing 6000 okay then again we are going to check this while loop and q is storing 6000 and 6000 is not null therefore we are again going to execute all these conditions right so first condition first thing is p is equal to temp is equal to p of value and p is pointing to the location 5000 therefore this 5 value which is stored at the location 5000 will now be stored in temp and then again p of value is equal to q of value right so p is storing uh, p is pointing to the location 5000 and the value part is 5 and this q of value will be stored here and q is pointing to the location 6000 therefore this 6 will now be stored here and then we are doing q of value is equal to temp that means whatever the value which is stored by q uh, will now be overwritten by this temp so this 5 will be stored here and then we are doing p is equal to q of next right so whatever the node which is pointed by p is sorry p is now going to store p is equal to q of next so whatever the node is pointed by q we are going to the next part and we are going to store the address of the next node into this p and then the address of next node is 7000 therefore p will now be storing 7000 and then again we are going to do q is equal to p question mark p and this line number 9 and in this line number 9 we are going to find q is equal to uh, p of question mark this and so on and this p is storing 7000 and 7000 is not null therefore whatever the data stored in the value next part here the data will be stored in q and this next part is storing null therefore q will now be storing null okay so when q is storing null in that case this while loop will fail so it will come out of this while loop now this, they are saying what is the data in the linked list after doing all these operations. So if you see this linked list, this linked list is containing the data which is 2, 1, 4, 3, 6, 5 and 7. So let us try to match the op options. So in the options you will see the option number B is correct because B's option, option is exactly matching to our output. Okay. So this is, this was a gate 2005 question. Now let us try to solve more questions which are asked in gate examinations.